Hello everyone, my name is Dragon, and welcome to a little tutorial on how to set up a server using the server pack for Sky Agriculture. Now this is going to be using the Bisect Hosting server provider, but I believe this will work on most others. I'm not entirely sure though. But all you need to do is find the Sky Agriculture mod pack on the CurseForge website. Click on the recent release, which for me is 2.4.2. And you'll see this server pack. All you need to do, download that, and that'll give you this file right here. All you need to do is open this, and you'll see this list of files and other things right here. What you're going to do with these is go into your server, and what you're going to want to do is copy all these into the file manager. Now I've already done this since it does take a while to copy over everything. And I've already started the server just to make sure it works, as you can tell, because there's all these other things that weren't in there. Once you do that, all you need to do is go home. And in here, specifically in the mod, mat, mod pack menu section, what you're going to type in is forge hot jar. What you're also going to want to do is in server properties. In generator settings, you're going to want to put this line of code. I mean, kind of like code. But it's really simple, and it'll be in the description in case you just want to copy and paste it. And then the level type also has to be set to topography. Like that. Once it's done, all you have to do is save it. And once that's saved, all you have to do is quickly start your server. Once you see at the bottom of the console, Flux Network Data has been successfully loaded, you should know that your server is now up and running and you can open up your minecraft refresh you'll see your server is up and once you join it you'll see that you start in the right world on the piece of dirt with a few slime islands around you because why not and you can start playing with friends once you invite them or give them the server address and all of that stuff anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to like uh, Make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. And if you have any problems with the server pack or have any questions about the server pack or the mod pack itself, then you can join the Discord. A link will also be in the description for that. There's also a link on the mod pack website itself. You can also put your questions there or suggestions in that Discord as well. Anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed. And I will talk to you all later.